Chara Nana Gundoso Remina que. You've wandered into the wrong camp. You got the look of a warrior, and we got all the blasters we need. If you're looking for work too, just take a trip spaceward. We don't need any more competition. Got it? What if we do? They're practically begging to be pushed around. You've seen them, right? They're weak. You sound like a flaming Jedi. I didn't just mean their weapons. I meant their character. They're very quick to blame everyone but themselves for their problems. So the galaxy has dealt them a bad hand. They should ante up and get back in the game. The administrator is different. Most of us are veterans of the Jedi Civil War. Some even fought in the Mandalorian Wars. A lot of soldiers have been looking for a place in the galaxy. The really skilled usually wind up here. A sentient by the name of Azkul. He was an elite trooper for Malak during the Jedi Civil War. He knows how to wage war. We had a contract with the Republic, doing some work in the Outer Rim. But they scaled back, and we were some of the casualties. Now the Republic isn't hiring anymore. I hear they have no credits. We find ways to divert ourselves. A lot of us find odd jobs. There are many more mercs around than what you see on Dantooine. We're spread out. I have time to kill. It's just another spaceport to me. We've been here too long for my tastes. And the settlers... We have to live somewhere. Something those settlers don't seem to understand. That flaming administrator and her cat hound Zeron can't keep their noses out of our business. There's a natural order to things that they just don't seem to get. They'll learn. Just make sure these settlers know their place. The Republic isn't going to send a single trainee to help this planet. It galls me to think we fought wars to protect Gizka like them. They don't do anything to help themselves, and they don't know how to... how to take responsibility. They're on their own, and either they should start working and stop whining, or else they're in for a tough ride. She's got spirit, but she seems to focus most of her effort on trying to get us off this planet. Terena has to learn that we aren't moving. Can I help you? Just trying to make a living. At least there's still people in the galaxy who know our value. It's not glamorous work, but a man has to eat, right? Murder is dangerous. 
Smells like another salvager has come to our camp. Vacate, mud licker. Don't make me tell you again. Ease off, Nalik. There's better sport than this one. I don't need help to take out a mud licker. Yeah, I'm talking to you. But I have a problem with you. Flaming outsider taking away our work? This is mercenary territory. We don't want anyone getting in our way. We're the real boss on this planet, so stand clear of us. You serious? The settlers are no more than herd beasts. Her handful of militia don't run this place. We do. You fight in any wars? I fought in the Jedi Civil War. I guess you don't look like much of a salvager. Sides don't matter much. We're all soldiers. Most of us mercenaries work with the Sith. Not too many Republic soldiers survive the war. I thought you were one of those useless salvagers. Or perhaps an uppity settler. I've had about enough of their attitude. So I figured blasting one of them would have done me some good. It's been a while since we've had work. You were a soldier too, so you know I'm not gonna answer you. Stay out of our way and we'll stay out of yours. That's the best deal you're gonna get here. You a new salvager? Or one of those Kunda Cantina rats coming here to complain? Well, we don't need another one. Look around this camp. We got the salvaging more than covered. I'm gonna give you some advice. Turn back. There's nothing you're gonna find. Because anything valuable in the ruins was carted away months ago. The only salvagers left are either desperate, ornery, or not right in the head. And while you look dirty enough to be here, I don't think you're any of those things. So go back to Kunda. The only thing left is the sub-level, and that's crawling with leg wrecks. And those things are smarter than half the salvagers here, though that don't take much. And don't be asking any pesky questions. You're new, and no one is gonna help you out. I've been here the longest, and I'll be here last. I buy Jedi salvage from the ruins. Slow business now, but I get by. Sometimes I sell them to visitors like yourself. Besides, that's none of your flaming business. You should have let me know you're a customer instead of letting me think you're some disease-ridden salvager. Let me show you what I've got.
You still lurk. It's a shame about them. Have any luck getting to their bodies? I figure there's about no chance you'll succeed, but the reward is still open. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Do you want something else? And they're now dead fools. Yeah, I'd like to do the decent thing and get their bodies and put them to rest. That hole isn't a fit place for a salvager. So, if you find a couple human corpses down there, just grab their gear and their bodies. I'll pay you 500 credits for each of them. Plus salvagers that are still here have to stick together. Any luck on getting my... What do you want to know? If you're really gonna help... It's right next to the ruins of the Jedi Enclave. Just follow the smell. You... Who is that? You go down into the sub-levels yet? Oh, certainly. Thank you. 
Yes, General? Let me see what you have. No, you're still missing a letter. Something else I can help you with. Tape LA gathered a group to go to the sub level. They're probably all gonna get killed. Oh, the visitor comes to our delightful salvager camp. We are honored. Do you come bringing your credits and curiosity? A civilized person with manners. Very rare in this part of the galaxy. I am most honored to meet you. If I may, a question I pose to you, traveler. Do you wish to buy one of the most elusive of all Jedi artifacts? A powerful Jedi holocron. You flatter me, traveler. It was a good day when I found this holocron. But you are lucky, for I will sell it to you for a low price. I ask a mere 1,000 credits for this rare find. This is not a matter of negotiation. You should buy it quickly before others come. Oh, I assure you it isn't. I will show it to you presently. Well, as you can see, it is in fine shape. A real bargain at a mere 1,000 credits. How, how did you know? Well, I never unload this accursed thing. This isn't my fault. You can't blame me. This forgery has passed through several hands in this camp. I am merely the latest victim. I wish to abandon this dung heap. Be serious. Any sentient with scent glands can tell that this is the garbage pit of Dantooine. No, of course not. Another salvager sold it to me. And he bought it from another one before him. When there were more salvagers, incidents like this were common. Ah, oh, but now there are few of us and I'm stuck with this garbage. There's no way I can make it home to my family and children. You with all your observations. I'm not gonna talk to you about the holocron anymore. So, what should we talk about? There isn't much to see around here. The planet is very lightly populated by settlers, mercenaries, and us. They want nothing to do with us. The only thing they want is part of our profits. Now that salvaging is running out, I doubt they will tolerate our presence much longer. I don't know nor care. They're trouble, but fortunately they ignore us. When they're looking for work, they mainly bother the settlers. We come from many different planets, drawn to the rumors of fortune. I believe the early salvagers did make some credits, but latecomers like myself barely find anything. Early salvagers said that the ruins were mostly empty to begin with. Many think that the administrator didn't allow us to salvage until her people were done with it.
Who are we missing? We're one off. We're missing Joran. I don't see Joran. That runt of a cath hound, he's the one with the backpack. Did anybody grab anything from the room? Anybody? What do you want? You won't find anything there except on the lowest sub-level, and there you'll only find death. Lagrex are everywhere. Nothing. Find out for yourself. I'm not interested in training the competition. Now, if you don't mind, we're going someplace you can't eavesdrop on us, and get down to our business.
Someone out there? Anybody? Help! Legrics are everywhere! Help me! I'm trapped in here! You must be fierce with a blaster then. Give me a moment, I sort of jam the door a bit. Just don't leave! Thanks for saving me. I thought those Legrics had me for sure. They like tunnels. We never saw much of them except underground in the hilly regions. I guess to Allegric, these sub-levels must be like paradise, though. There certainly are enough of them. You know, what's frightening is the beasts are getting smarter. I've heard they've even laid traps for us salvagers. Sounds crazy, but it's true. It's all Tapale's fault. She said the entryway to the sub-level was safe enough. This area has hardly been explored. We barely got in here. And then everybody started going left and right, grabbing anything they could. It was every man for himself, and nobody was watching for Legrex. Then, before you know it, we were under attack by those beasts. So salvagers were running every which way, and they left me to die. All the easy pickings have been picked. Now everything that's worth more than a glass of Juma juice is long gone. So, this level is about the only place that's left. And as you might have noticed, it's very dangerous down here. Almost nobody's managed to get anything from down here. Not that it matters. There was a group that managed to get in and got one of the biggest halls ever. Tapele said we could do that too. But they were a damn sight more organized than we were. And they've caused more problems dead than they ever did alive. They were the first to really get anything from this damn level. They were so confident they went right back in. A bunch of us salvagers waited by the entrance. Only two of the four came back, and one died right away from his wounds. The other man was going to be rich, but then he picked a fight with Garavik. It wasn't much of a fight, and there was no one left. And that's the whole problem. 
Well, since every last one of them is dead, their find is sitting in the militia's headquarters. That's one of the biggest claims ever, and they won't give it to nobody. So people keep saying that they were owed by the dead salvagers, or that they're related. But Zeron isn't an idiot. The only thing he's gonna believe is a will. And after some try to pass less than authentic ones off on him, now he'll only take a will and their personal effects. She was playing you for a fool. <laughs> no doubt she'd like to find those bodies. That, plus a conveniently worded will, and she'd make a pile of credits. Probably not since you know the truth. <laughs> Unless you're willing to make a fake will, though, the truth won't help. You look like the type of moron that'll just turn it into Zeron. That may be the right thing to do, but it don't make it a smart thing. Uh, certainly. Just don't take too long. I don't know how long before those beasts come back. Oh. Uh, what do I know about moisture vaporators? Well, I, I told him I wasn't sure if it would work or not. Hey, buddy. I've played enough card games to know a bluff when I see one. Hey, uh, can we please talk about this later we're, when we're not in danger of being eaten by leg wrecks? Sorry, I gotta go. You can meet me in the salvager camp.
Something up? All right, what did you want to know? Yes, General? Let me see what you have. No, you're still... Something else I can help... I am an historian and scientist working for the Republic, although I'm certain my contemporaries would judge me more a historian than scientist. Like you, I was looking for some trace of the Jedi. 
I had heard mention that one of the Jedi Masters had gone there, but I found no trace of them. The other reason was the ruins of the Jedi Enclave, and once I arrived, I felt it was necessary to stay, to protect what was left. Much had been taken from the Enclave, both by raiders and others. I wished to preserve what I could. Many artifacts were taken from the Enclave, but these thefts, they had to have been done by someone who knew the Enclave well. I suspect the Jedi themselves took the holocrons and records, but I do not know why. Someone has been taking holocrons from sites across the galaxy. It is almost as if someone does not want their knowledge used to find the Jedi. The situation on Dantooine is echoed in other places in the galaxy. Raiders, smugglers, all seek to plunder what remains of the Jedi, and even the Sith. More so than the Jedi themselves, I fear the loss of their history. Much has been forgotten in recent wars, and I fear that greater troubles shall stem from that loss of knowledge in the future. The destruction of the Academy on Osus near the Kron Drift in the Sith War, the teachings of Master Arca, the adventures of Jolie Bindo on the Rimward missions, all of these things are in danger of being lost forever. What else would you like to know? I do not know if you are aware of how fragile the Republic is at the moment. Its influence is stretched thin, and it grows weaker with time. The Jedi Civil War brought much suffering to the galaxy, and the forces that Malak and Revan amassed against us seemed limitless. Many worlds were destroyed, trade routes disrupted, and the Republic fleet was almost decimated. It was almost the end. But at that last year, the year before Revan vanished, Revan's assault on the Republic stopped. No one knows why. But it was all that saved the Republic. The fleet the Sith had amassed was no more, and the remaining Sith turned on each other, destroying the Academy on Korriban. It did not matter. Revan had already won. The war was costly, and it shattered the Republic. In time, the Republic might recover, but if a threat strikes now, if certain key worlds are not held, then the Republic will collapse. What else would you like to know? I imagine in your travels of the galaxy you've seen many people. Faces tend to blur together after a time. What else would you like to know? I'm trying to save the Republic. Dantooine and the Jedi Order are instrumental to that effort. Despite the troubles of the Jedi Civil War, there are those among the Republic who still favor the Jedi and wish them to return. And there are admirals within the fleet who recognize that the Jedi must be found if the Republic is to hold together. Yet as long as Onderon remains within the Republic and the efforts on Tilo succeed, that is all that matters. The Republic is fragile right now. Telos is important because its success will determine whether or not the other dead worlds receive the same reconstruction efforts. If Telos is rebuilt and made habitable again, it will affect a string of worlds along the rim. Onderon, strangely enough, was unaffected by the Jedi Civil War. It's almost as if Revan didn't want to attack it. Its resources and position on the rim make it a vital supply line and guard post against outer rim attacks. Also, it's the only world in the Republic still capable of seeding ecosystems into other dead worlds. Onderon's wildlife is some of the most aggressive in the known galaxy. Merely placing some of those beasts on target worlds will guarantee their habitation for years to come. The Jedi are a symbol. As much damage as their reputation took during the Sith War and the Jedi Civil War, there are still many who they serve as an example. Plus, there have been times in the past where a single Jedi has been enough to change the face of a world, or a galaxy. I suppose I still believe that might be possible. Despite the betrayal of many of the Jedi against the Republic, I must concede that as figureheads, they do serve a vital role. What else would you like? Before you go, I had a question for you. You came to Dantooine in search of Jedi. Why? If the Sith are rising in the galaxy again, then it is strange the Jedi would not be there to meet them. 
and that we have not seen more evidence of the Sith. No, I believe you. I merely find such subtleties among the Sith to be strange. They have been known to practice deception, but in the histories, since the time of the Dark Lords Kuhn and Keldroma, and Revan and Malak, such subtleties have been rare. In any case, it seems to me like our goals are compatible. If you would have me, I can apply my knowledge and skills to helping you find the answers you seek. Look, we're already full up. We don't need anyone else. We travel light. Thank you. 
braved the perils of the sublevel, yes. Many stories and artifacts in your possession. This is fortuitous for myself and associates. For now, not only do I get rich salvage, but an even richer bounty. Do not be making this difficult. Your death can be quite painless. Negotiations are not possible. A deal has been made with anxious people. People you do not cross. And now, Jedi, we shall fight. Yes, General. Braved the for neg Thank <laughs> you. 
there is something I have observed, and now I feel I must say it. I have found your presence to be inspiring. With your growth in the Force, you seem to have found your center, and throughout the dangers we face, you remain calm and focused. I understand now why others followed you to war. Perhaps that is what leadership is. And it is something I have seen in only a few during my travels. In any event, it has been some time since I traveled with a Jedi, nor one so firmly upon the path. I wanted to thank you. I fear the stories that were spoken of you have misrepresented you. And if I have the opportunity, I shall reverse them whenever they arise. Very well. Then I shall keep my favorable opinions to myself. That is hardly surprising. What do you wish to know? You are correct. I am afraid I have not been entirely open with you concerning my past. If I look familiar, it is because we have met before, at the Enclave on Dantooine, many years ago. As on Coruscant, Force-sensitive children are taken to Dantooine as well. Though it is done rarely, and only with those they believe are destined to become Jedi Knights, it is the secret nature of the place. If you are not chosen by a master when you have come of age, however, then the path of the Jedi is denied to you. I met you on Dantooine, long ago, briefly. You taught us how to move within the Force, and see it flow within others. How to see it in the behaviors of others, and use that sight to achieve truth. It is difficult to explain the difference between you and Master Vruk, but I think it is because he was knowledgeable. But not a leader, not a mentor. You were different. We could all feel it. And I knew that if I were to have a master, I would want it to be you. And then you went to war. Many Jedi went to war, and the Jedi Masters proclaimed that you were Jedi no longer. Atrus, the mistress of the Archives, was first among them. I knew at that moment that if you would no longer be a Jedi, then you must be correct. I realized I did not want to be a Jedi. Instead, I wished to follow your path. And in any event, there was no one to train me, even if I wished it. They all went to war as I grew past the age of acceptance. It is possible to forget the Force, you know. If you have not felt it strongly enough, then there is little to miss. But I never felt the Force as strongly as I did when I was with you. And so I decided to serve the Republic, study the Jedi teachings, gather them, perhaps. It was important to me to understand the Jedi now that they were gone. I felt some part of you should be preserved, so that your lessons would not be lost. Perhaps. I still harbor doubts about the path I walked. It is not time. I am on a diplomatic mission. I am one of several tasked with attempting to contact any remaining Jedi and convince them. I do not think it is a matter of luck or chance. Only my own inability to find them. While the Enclave trained me for many things, I am afraid that the life of a bounty hunter was not among them. I suspect my turning away from the Force is also a hindrance in such cases. I imagine the Jedi would be easier to find if I still maintained my connections to the Force. No. It is something of a mystery why they would exile themselves as... It is not the way of the Jedi to vanish. I fear that there is something else at work. Then again, perhaps... It is difficult sometimes for the Jedi to see such things, since much of it is rooted in human nature, and the Jedi are often removed from events of daily life, insulated. But the reason the Jedi Civil War was named such was because few in the galaxy... To them, they are both Jedi. Not always. Jedi often fall. They cause much harm on Onderon, for example, in the name of Uleg Keldroma and Exar Kun, the two Dark Lords during the Sith War many... It is perhaps more amazing that some still trust Jedi after many have fallen and in... It is also proof that a single Force wielder can change the... Hate? No. I do not hate them. 
They only raise questions without answers. Jedi are not supposed to be like the rest of us. They are supposed to see and they are supposed to train students responsibly. Yet all I saw was ignorance and error. It is difficult to follow the Jedi code. When the problems with the Jedi are my own. I do not wish to burden you with my truth. That is Many Jedi went to go fight in the Mandalorian Wars, and few returned. To their disciples left behind on Dantooine, on Coruscant, there were few masters to train them. I was one such student. Perhaps not as strong in the Force as the other. The teachers left behind were when I came of age. There were no masters left. It was for the best, I think. Your apologies are not needed, or warranted. Forgive me, but there is something I must ask. In my study of the Jedi histories and the more... contemporary records, I have heard tales of a Jedi who was exiled. You are that Jedi, but the records are somewhat evasive on why this was done. I wanted to discuss why you chose to leave the Jedi Order and accept exile. I see. And because you went to war, they cast you out? Do you have a record of this trial? Perhaps I shall examine it when I get the chance, with your permission. I appreciate your trust. Thank you. I have studied the hollow record of your trial. I am unsure what to make of it. I must confess that I was searching for some meaning beyond... Did you know that exile is a rare sentence? It is not really something that the Order could... I do not know. That is a question best answered. I'm not certain I do either, but it is something. Because I too turned away from the Order, under less. I'm not certain I do either. Because. Then I shall speak. Yes? It... That is hardly surprising. I think you are right. It is time. I have watched you. You have become strong in the Force again. But that is not all. You have achieved a center in the chaos around us. My master, the one intended for me, left to fight in the Mandalorian Wars. Now she has returned, and I ask her now if she will train me in the ways of the Force. The one who was to be my master was lost at Malachor V. I want you to teach me the ways of the Force, to become a Jedi Knight, what I meant to be. Thank you.
Yes, General? Let me see what... No. Something else I can help...